It is very important to keep your child's neck clean and dry to reduce the risk of skin breakdown and infection. It is imperative that part of your daily routine includes changing the trach ties. We will show you how we change the ties with our particular two-piece type of tie. You may have a slight variation depending on what type the home care company provides you and how old your child is. Your belly? It is suggested that you change the tie after bathing because trach ties will probably become wet during the bathing process. To make the trach tie process easier and quicker, have the supplies organized and ready. You will need a trach tie, 4x4 gauze, half strength peroxide solution, and scissors. If you are working with an infant, you may find that using a shoulder roll will help give you best access during trach care. If you have the two piece trach ties, you will have to size the trach tie by cutting off the excess. You can measure your child's neck with a measuring tape or by simply holding the trach tie around your child's neck and sizing it up. The proper fit should allow for one finger to fit between the neck and the trach tie. Having the tie too tight or too loose can cause serious problems. Once you get the right size, it is helpful to keep the piece you cut off so you can use it as a template when cutting your trach tie accurately every day. Now that your trach tie is cut and supplies are ready, it's time to change the trach tie. One of the most important things to keep your hand and eye on during the trach tie process is the trach itself so that it does not get a chance to slip out. First, pour some half strength peroxide solution on two 4x4 gauze pads to dampen them. Then, place them on a clean, close by surface along with the other supplies. Pick up your sized trach tie and place it near your child's head and have the Velcro strips detached from the cloth. Start to detach the existing trach tie on one side. Keep a finger or two on the trach the whole time. Wipe this side of the child's neck with one of the damp gauzes. Attach one side of the new trach tie to the trach. Now, gently slip the old trach tie behind your child's neck and then the new one behind the neck. Move your child's head to the other side and remove the old trach tie and wipe this side of the neck with the other damp gauze. Now you can attach the new trach tie and you're done! Most children get very used to this daily routine and will even work with you by moving his or her head as needed. What we just showed you is obviously the procedure when a child is lying down, but it could also be done if the child is sitting up, as long as you feel you have good control of the child not wiggling away.